now let us discuss the arma process that means autoregressive and moving average process put together so we understood the ar model we understood the ma model now we'll add both of them and we'll forecast the arma process or we will understand the arma model remember in in ar process we select the actual past lack or time series data we will forecast the regression model through auto data in ma process we consider the past error terms right with your mean data and you forecast the average of or weights of weighted average of your uh, error terms so these two are two different concept now in case sometimes what happens the data pattern will be so complicated that you not be able to select the ar model or ma model throw your correlogram or say order in that case you select the ma process in case you are confused or you know both are having same lag and cut off in that case i'll discuss that in that case you can select the arma model now the question is that how the arma model works what is the mechanism it's very easy like moving average process it is also simple it is a linear combination of past actual periods and the error terms that means you can see the model past actual periods up to pre say if your model is of arma say arma say p and q say p and q in that case p is your order of er process the past p terms you are considering of actual data of time series and past error term q error term you are considering in your ma process if you add both with some new coefficient you will get the forecast of ma process this is what the arma process this is what the arma that means if you have a data say y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 like this and say you got the error error 1 error 2 error 3 error 4 error 5 so these they are combination you have to take they are weighted combination say beta 1 and say gamma 1 this weighted combination with say phi 0 this weighted combination should be your ma arma process now the question is that how many term we have to consider of past actual data lags and how many error time you have to consider that we will discuss later but for the time being let us understand the steps of arma process right generally more than one period 1 1 or 2 2 or 1 2 2 1 like 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 people don't take more than this or maximum 2 2 the restrictions of arma process or the lags are been calculated through this only but the understanding of how the arma model works that is very important look at here if you select a arma model of one order one 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 p equals to one q equals to one then it will be a coefficient part plus one black look at from here one lag and one error term like the way ma process error and the actual data of your time series past data if you consider error say ma process arma of order 2 and 1 then p equals to 2 and q equals to 1 right so in that case two past lag you have considered or past data you have considered only one error term if you take other way so only one actual data past data and two error term you consider this combination and drag it but in that case also since it's a linear combination neither regression nor the you know weights to some extent weights you have to optimize this weights also right this weights also you have to optimize like the ma process just now we have discussed similarly here also you have to calculate the linear combination and the corresponding weight and the coefficient part this is not intercept this is a coefficient how this calculation are done let us understand through illustration so first step you need to understand the mechanism of arma process let us restrict our discussions to arma one on process for the time being if you understand that then you know using python or you know ready made software you can extend to arma 1 2 2 3 or pq process just understand the one on process now as i mentioned first you need to consider the model will be a linear combination come back to the previous model look at the model is a linear combination right here you can see one different type of illustration i have given is a linear combination of your past data and the error terms a error process and ma process both coming together in arma now suppose this is your final model of linear combination now the question is how that has been developed let us understand all this calculation phi 0 beta 1 gamma 1 will calculate through excel now first understand how this formula been derived first you do like you calculated the pscf similarly here here you calculate the center of data you subtract all data from that to mean and then you calculate the mean and then calculate the center of all this data next 
once you get it let us assume a linear combination of your y t this new y t this is this is center data right you have the y and then you know y mean then you can calculate say y minus y mean bar this is your small small y t say this is your capital y t say and this is your small y t small y t so this is your small y t y1 y2 y3 y4 small y t these are your your center data so this center data will use to predict the arma process later you can adjust with your actual data though it is actual data actual data but you can adjust later first let us assume that linear combinations of new center data will consider throw older data of center data one period older data because one one model we have considered in our discussion and one error term we are assuming linear combination the beta 1 and gamma 1 will optimize and we will assume that center is in center is 0 mean y mean we are not considering right simple linear combination we are taking now if you consider this is your assumption right that you have considered your new center data is a combination of previous center data not the actual y not the actual y this is the center data small small, small y you are considering the center data you are considering and then the error term so here you can see now if this is your assumption then this should be look at yt capital yt minus y mean should be beta 1 or like this combination this combination just rearrangement we have done like this right same now what do you do if yt minus yt bar bar yt minus yt bar at some stage is combination of one center data and the error term then yt minus 1 this this yt minus 1 is a combination of another center data say, another older data say one period older data now so this we have put there look at this this we have put here like this this we have replaced this now if you readjust that bring being yt here in this this side and you will get y, y y bar this side you will get to some extent y mean equals yt forecast equals to y mean of say 1 minus beta 1 plus beta 1 into gamma 1 you can readjust and gamma 1 of uh, beta 1 into yt minus 1 and gamma 1 of it, or error error 1 this we will consider as phi 0 look at this if you consider that then this forecast is nothing but phi 0 this forecast is nothing but phi 0 plus beta 1 capital y t minus 1 plus gamma 1 into error t minus 1 like per error this is the same formula look at this same formula clear so this is the steps of arma process now let us execute it and this is what in every book you will find this formula you won't find the procedure how they have been calculated here i have illustrated the calculation process how the formula are been derived now the question is that you have to find the weights right the weights and the coefficient part let's let us see one illustration we have taken the same tcs data of th three months then first step you calculate the average then calculate the center data look at the center data center the data so this we have done by subtracting the average from the actual stock price now this center data will use as say small yt small yt and residual will calculate here say error term residuals then we will take the weighted combination of them because one one model we are illustrating weighted combination of these two will consider then we will make the forecast done right with the previous formula here is the formula here is the formula let us see and but you have to optimize the data right because you have to calculate the coefficient best coefficient now let us see one part so this is your center data and this is your residual initially we will assume that initial residual is zero right initially we are assuming same way the moving average process we have done if it is zero look at here two coefficients we require beta 1 and gamma 1 look at the formula look at the formula beta 1 and gamma 1 let me erase this part little bit so that you know you will able to understand in a better manner so here look at this beta 1 and gamma 1 or here you can see this beta 1 and gamma 1 will, will take this formula in our calculation then later we will add this at the end finally so look at here so initially if you do if you consider residual equals to 0 then you have the center data you have the residual center data and residuals so what will be a combination weighted combination this is the weights we will finalize right we will optimize that in solver later initially we have taken 50 50 but we don't know what is the best we will calculate that so in that case your first this forecast will be 50 percent of center data say small y1 plus 50 percent of first error say this is your forecast say yt small yt right this will be forecast through arma model in terms of this formula this particular formula look at my center formula this formula but later we will adjust with this 
and we will get the final forecast. Now, if this is your next forecast, through this forecast, you will get the error again. You will get the error again, this minus this, like the way in moving average we have done. Uh, now you got a new for, new error and the center data corresponding corresponding center data also will get for forecast minus actual you will get the center data you already have from the beginning you have calculated this center data you keep it and now you are getting new error and the forecast new error and the forecast with a combination of this like for here what we, how we will get this data plus this data weighted combinations will be your forecast here and you drag it you will get the forecast through ARMA model but remember this is for with center data, not the actual forecast. Now what you have to do, you have to add this phi 0 and you have to make the final adjustment to make your final forecast in terms of actual stock price. One more part here, you need to optimize this beta 1 beta and gamma 1 that will decide in Excel, same way. Now look at the final stage, what you have to do, how will you optimize them, you have to minimize your error, right? You minimize your RMSE, you minimize the RMSE and calculate your the square error and the corresponding RMSE, you take the way of uh, MSE, you calculate and the error RMSE and the corresponding optimization process. Here we found the final beta 1 and beta 2 for this particular data 97 percent and 12 percent. You take them and make the final forecast, here is the final forecast you can see here, look at that. Final forecast here it is a, it's a in the intermediate data, small y t hat equals to say you know beta 1, beta 1 into say small y t plus gamma 1 into say error error t. So, this formula we have used right and we have calculated this forecast, this is not the final forecast, you have to adjust with gamma say phi 0. So, that we are this part, so that we are doing now with the forecast. So, this you can calculate with this error 3541 is your final average data and then if you put this in your formula, you, this will be your final forecast model. Now, if you put any t and any epsilon, this is actual capital T and the epsilon or error. You put that, you will get the forecast, you drag it for any period you can forecast, you can use, the, you can make the forecast through ARMA process of one. Let us understand that in Excel. Now, we have come to the normal screen of our Excel, here you can see, first step, center the data, we are discussing the ARMA model, we are discussing the ARMA model 1 1, right. First step, you calculate your average of the data, actual data, second stage, center the data. Now your model formula will start, center the data, look at the center the data, right. Now this data will use, these are small y, right, small y t in your formula and these are your residual, initial residual we have assumed 0. So you know the center, first center data and the residual, you take the weighted combination of them, you will get the forecast here, look at the weighted combination of them and you get the forecast here, you can change them, you just put say 0 0.6 and say 0 0.4, whatever you can put, just put them you will get the and RMSE we are calculating here as it is and we will optimize that. Now, this is your first forecast, using this forecast you can calculate again your residual here, look at here again your residual, center minus forecast, ARMA forecast, your residual, now you got new forecast here, center data and the forecast, you take their combination with this beta 1 and gamma 1, you will get the forecast for the next ARMA model, you drag it, now suppose here, suppose you are here, how will you will get this 100? you have the center data and you have the error now from the previous data sets, you get the error, look at the error and if you take these two with your this weight, weights, you will get the weighted combination here, look at here, you drag it, that is it, this is what your MA process, ARMA process and here the final forecast I will discuss here later, but we need to optimize the weights, right, because which weights will give you the best ARMA model that you need to find, go to data go to solver, look at, you need to minimize your RMSE, same way you need, you need to optimize your RMSE and it is not a maximization problem, it is a minimization problem, you have to minimize your error and two term, who are them? This beta 1, comma, gamma 1 or you can drag both, there is no conditions, you can put condition, you can consider it as an unconstant optimization also, it is a nonlinear model. Same way you have to consider nonlinear model, just solve it. Look at we found the best combination of beta 1 and gamma 1. Whatever initial value we give, system will optimize to minimize the RMSE. The optimization process refer to the RMSE session or the error calculation session, measure of goodness models. So here you need this value to make your final forecast, like the way we have discussed in the PPT. Now here you get the final 
automatically it has been finalized. Now you see the last period, the weighted combination of center and the weights, the residual, you get this forecast. This is your intermediate forecast, right, with the center data. Now you need this with your the, the weightage value, like you know, center plus this value, you will get the forecast. You can go back to the PPT and you may get use this particular formula and you can put the data and you will get the forecast of your next model through ARMA. This is what the ARMA process. You can execute it with more example and you can get to know how this calculation process are been done, enter recording are been done, you can illustrate at home. Now we have one more part to wind up this ARMA process that how many order of ARMA model you should select because here it is nothing but P for AR process and Q for MA process. So you have to select the ARMA order also, the P and Q of ARMA. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, etc. So, how big you will consider? Remember, for AR process, the PSCF AR is the actual AR process, right? The actual regression, auto regression. So, you have to select the PSCF graph to select your order, right? We have discussed detail. And SCF will be exponential decay. For MA process, since the error term, they are already independent, you need, you don't need to go to PSCF. From ESCF, SCF graph, you can select, there will be clear cutoff. And PSCF will be in other way. But for ARMA model, in case you are confused, say your graph is like this, say your graph, let me draw here. Suppose your graph are like say this, AR also have a cutoff and SEF and PSAB also have a cutoff. So in that case, you can select AR from here, PSA, this is PSAB and this is suppose SEF. Suppose after two periods, there is a cutoff and here after one period, suppose there is a cutoff. So in that case, you can select AR1 and MA2. So it will be a ARMA. 1, 2, done. But suppose in case there is a model that both have exponential decay. In that case, you select the AR1, AR MA, 1, 1, that's it, just. So, or you are confused to select. So, in that case, you select, you know, ARMA model. If you are not able to select the or read the graph of for AR model and MA model, then in this case, you go the combination of them, ARMA with 1, 1 or maybe 2, 2 maximum, that's it. Here you can see on the final conclusions. For AR process, we know, right? PSA will have a cutoff, SCA will have a exponential decay. For MA model, it is other way. SCA will have a cutoff, PSA will have a exponential decay. But for ARMA model, look at the decay, both will have a exponential decay. Both will have a exponential decay. Or both will have a cutoff. Both will have a cutoff, clear cutoff. Clear cutoff. So in that case, you can select ARMA 1, 1 or 2, 2 or 1, 2, 2, 2. You will, able to, you will be able to select the order of the model. So this is what the summary of ARMA process. We have discussed AR model, we have discussed MA model, now we have concluded, discussed and concluded the ARMA process. In the next class, we will enter into ARIMA model. That means autoregressive integrated moving average process, where your data will be non-stationary. So far, we have discussed AR process, MA process and ARMA process, keeping the assumption on that data are stationary, data are stationary, right, data are stationary. So mean, variance, etc. are not changing much from, from one block to another block. So therefore, you will be able to select the AR model and MA model through ACF and PACF graph and you can draw the model as it is. But if the data are non-stationary, if the data are non-stationary, like zigzag model, in that case, you cannot use this direct data directly to your ARMA model, AR, MA or ARMA. You need to convert this data into a stationary data and then that data you need to use for ACF draw, PACF draw as well as the, your AR, MA or ARMA model. In the next class, we will discuss detail of autoregressive integrated moving average process that is called ARMA with differencing and decay flow test. And then we will conclude the session of or module of ARIMA. Thank you.